What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, this I've seen. A, I've been covering track and field all summer on this channel, and this might have been the wildest pro black post I've seen all summer. I've seen some really wild ones. I even had to block a dude for my channel because his post was so wild, but I did it. But even that post wasn't as wild what I saw here. This was the wildest post I've seen. And it was so wild that I had to make a video on it. I was like, I'd be cheating my audience if I didn't make a video on this. Now, kind of getting tired of making these videos <laughs> a little bit. Uh, especially around this time of year. Track and field season is starting to wind down. But the ignorance continues to, to outweigh everything. So... This post of Joey Scott, I think this is the first time I've ever seen him on my channel. Uh, and this guy had one of the most ignorant posts I've ever seen um, on my channel. And maybe on YouTube when it comes to track and field. Like, it's so wild. When I get ready to read through this, guys, you guys are going to be... A lot of you guys on my channel will be angered by the end of it. You guys will be angered by the end of this post because of what he says. And it is so unfair what he says about Abby Steiner in this. It's just amazing. Amazing how ignorant this dude is. So, his name is Joey Scott. Like I said, I've never seen him before. Um, but let, let's go on ahead and read this first uh, little part of the, the this first paragraph, man. So he says, before you go on with your fantasy talk, first learn to appreciate and support black women. <laughs> I'm about to debunk that in a sec. One of the one of the reasons why Shikari Richardson is the way she is now is because she's not getting uplifting support from her own race, especially black males. Not true at all. The other is that she made a mistake, like we all do. So when you support black women, you're supporting yourself. And when you diss a black woman, you're dissing yourself. So let, let, let's go back up to the top. Okay. Um, so he says, first, learn to appreciate and support black women. When did I ever, like, not uh, appreciate black women or support black women? I never remember actually saying I don't support them. I never said I don't support these black female track athletes. I've covered several of them on my channel. And I have nothing but respect, especially for the Jamaican girls, because they brought the sport to new heights of track and field. And I've had nothing but respect for them. And I don't know where this is like. It's like, he, I don't, at this point, I don't think he's talking to me. I think he's talking to black dudes in general or whatever. And I don't want to get to the personal stuff because that uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep this specifically to track and field. I'm not even trying to talk about the whole race thing or problems that black men are ha currently having with black women at this time. Like, I'm not even going into all of that in, the, in this video. But because this is, if I do, it'll be about a 40 minute to an hour long video. And I'm just not interested in making that type of video right now. But he said, uh, first learn to appreciate sport black women. Uh, that's false because I, I I've I've never dissed them in the first place uh, on, on this channel. Now I might disrespect pro black people because I don't like pro black people. I've made it clear I don't like pro black people. Okay, I think they're very ignorant. I think they're very racist people. I don't deal with racist people, bro. So I don't. Now if I got a problem with somebody, it's them. I ain't got no problem with uh, black women in general. Because I have black women who watch my videos. And a lot of them, um, I've had really mutual respect for them. You know what I'm saying? So why why would I really respect them? What, is, what the hell are you talking about? You making this post actually d undermines the black woman who watch my channel. You're disrespecting them because you're saying that, um, oh, basically what you're saying is why are they watching someone who supposedly disses black women? And I just... Only day I think the closest thing I've ever done on this channel was probably just criticize Shakari Richardson for her behavior. That's about it. When I was comparing her with Abby Steiner, it's not it's not false. Abby uh, Shakari Richardson has to do better. But who hasn't on YouTube criticized um, Shakari Richardson? Even her biggest fans have criticized her, and she knows what she's doing is wrong. She a grown ass woman. She knows what she's doing is wrong. 
And you are the type of person that Shikari doesn't need. She's the reason, you know the reason why she is like she is is because of people like you. People like you that make excuses for her when she does wrong. You're not doing anything to help her when you um, think that shit is okay to what she does. Smoking weed when she's a damn track athlete. She needs a damn lungs, first of all. You don't need to be smoking as a fucking track athlete, bro. That's only gonna slow her down in the future. So the more she smokes, the more her lungs is gonna get gonna get deteriorated and she's not even gonna be able to breathe good. To run into her thirties like a Shelly Ann Fraser Price. You know what I'm saying? Deep into her thirties. You know what I mean? So yeah. And then the next part, she's not getting to the support from her own race and black males. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? First of all, when it comes to the other black female athletes, do you hear a Sydney McLaughlin and a Thing Mo, uh, any of the Jamaican ladies, uh, Adina Asher Smith, uh, uh, Daryl Nada? I'm just naming a few black athletes, Gabby Thomas or whatever. The only thing I heard bad about Gabby Thomas was when she went on on black men about dating white women. That was the only time I heard any criticism of Gabby Thomas oh, since she's been racing, since she's been in the spotlight, bro. I haven't heard anything like black men are just coming after them. Like, what are you talking about? Support from her own race. That's all that pretty much supports her is her own race. What are you talking about? People like you, pro-black people like you are supporting her. So what are you talking about? She needs to learn from her mistakes, bro. Not, and, and you talking about some unlift, uplifting support Ain't nobody tearing her down like that. Now, there are some haters of that, Shikari Richardson. She's got them. Every fucking popular track athlete that's, you know, hyped up will get haters, bro. Is this something, is this something that she's going to have to deal with? But, bro, ain't nobody hating on her because us black males have some sort of, uh, you know, whatever. And I still support. And you apparently are new to my channel because I've said it a million times before. I, I, I still love... Shakari Richardson, I still want to see her do well. That's why I made that recent video. This is why I made this video. I think, yeah, it's under this video. This is why I made this video. I want to see Abby Steiner against Shakari Richardson. If I didn't believe in Shakari, I wouldn't have never made this damn video in the first place. Because why would I make this video? It, it would have been Abby, this would have been the title. Abby Steiner will destroy Shakari Richardson. That's what it would have been. That's what it would have been. I said, I want to see the race because I don't know who will win. I respect Shikari that much where I don't even know who's going to win in the 100 meters. What are you talking about? And she said she made a mistake like we all do. Yes, we're not, bro, we're not saying that she's not making, you know, she's not allowed to make mistakes. We're all humans. I still make mistakes. You still make mistakes. We all still make mistakes. We're just saying what we're saying is we believe in her greatness so much that she needs to get away from certain things that's bringing her down, bro. That means we care for her. That's not um, uh, criticizing her. That's that's actually loving her. But people like you really don't love her because you enable her to do continue to do the bad things that will continue to deteriorate her career. She continues to go in that direction because of people like you that's enabling her. And then we say, uh, so when you support black women, you're supporting yourself. And when you diss a black woman, first of all, all I all I share is the color of my skin. I don't share nothing with another human being on this earth outside of my family, my blood family. So I don't uh, agree with that statement at all. Um, just because I'm black doesn't mean that um, I hate myself or whatever. No, uh, I love myself. I love me some me. I love me some me. I'm a human at the end of the day. That's what we all are. We just got different skin colors, but my boy, that's it. We all got different skin colors, but you know what? At the end of the day, we associate with, I came into this world alone. I'm leaving this world alone, motherfucker. Cause I love me some me, motherfucker. <laughs> I love me some, at, the, at the end of the day. And that's the problem with, with, with most humans. They don't love themselves first. You need to love yourself first before you can love anybody else. The hell are you talking about? Do you not get this? This is life, buddy. You learn in life, bro. Life is all about learning, bro. It's all about learning and how to correct your mistakes when you do make a mistake. We are allowed to make mistakes. We're human beings. All right? And then you sit up here saying um, you're supporting yourself and when you diss black women, you're dissing yourself. That is one of the most ignorant statements that I've heard since when you don't uh, when you don't date black women, you don't, um, 
you don't like your mother. Why would I be attracted to my mother? What are you talking about? Like, that incest fested ass statement, bro. That's what that reminds me of, bro. That that statement alone. But let's move on here because I don't want to. I don't want to reach the twenty minute mark on this video because. I remember when I did a, a breakdown video like this before, I ended up going like 20 minutes. So let's get into the next statement. Um, and so he said, then you get up here and talk about Abby Steiner like nothing can go wrong with her. Or she's just a nice breath of uh, fresh air, a white girl. Um, first of all, you need to learn grammar, man. Dude, don't be so hard on yourself. See, once again, he's talking about like if I'm uplifting Abby, like I'm talking about myself or something like that. Uh, cause, cause she's not black. You can break down this video many times you want. You never mentioned or talked about the injuries Abby suffered through. Do I write? Hey, I don't need to reiterate that because most people watching the video knows Abby Steiner what she went through in college, bro, with her injuries, bro. I don't need to mention that every single fucking video. If I do, my videos are going to be five to ten minutes longer, and it's just going to be stating the obvious. And in case you don't know, Abby's injuries was not like. Uh, affecting her this past season, bro. She was running just fine. She was running like someone that never had an injury before. That was the whole point of um, of um, her season, bro. And why we been calling her the bionic woman, the iron woman, and all that stuff. She raced 57 races the season after she had a major injury when she tore her ACL. Okay? Why would I need to mention that when she didn't have any problems with it this year? So why would I be expecting her to have problems with it next year when she's going to have much fresher legs? I'm not saying she can't get hurt again. She obviously could. Um, I'm just saying that there's no reason to mention that. That's stating the obvious, bro. Everybody knows he had a fucking injury on my channel, bro. I mean, why do I need to mention that? You know what I mean? If anything, if I did mention that, it would be an excuse for Abby. And I'm not trying to make excuses for Abby. I'm not making excuses for Shikari, so I'm not making no excuses for Abby. So why would I need to point that out? You kind of like um, caught yourself here because now you're basically defending Abby here with the whole injury thing. You're saying because she had injury, she can't be Shakari Richardson. That's what it sounds like to me in this whole statement. So I don't know what the, I don't think you knew what she was talking about either when you wrote this post. But let's, let's keep going. Later, she had a left Achilles injury. That affects the back of your lower leg, the muscles in the back of your calf, heel bone, both are serious injuries. Then want to brag about how fast Abby Steiner is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Again, did it, did, it, did it affect Abby's speed this year? Did it affect Abby's speed this year? No. She had two personal new bests, two times that she had never raced before, including some new personal best in her um in her legs in the relay races so her speed was never affected by this injury long term never affected but somehow some way you think it affects her though and that you think her speed is somehow tied uh that she can't run anymore because of her injuries like what are you like dude your post is all over the place, bro. And I think some people watching this video are probably confused. They're probably like, hey, what the, what the hell is this dude talking about? Your, good, your guess is as good as mine. So let's keep moving on. Uh, he said, I ran track. Who cares? We all ran track. I ran track too. It don't matter. I'm not a professional. You wasn't a professional. So there's no reason for you to mention that I ran track before. There's people who never ran track before who, who have better knowledge than you, apparently, because apparently you don't have a lot of knowledge from what I'm reading here. He said, I ran track the 100 meters, the 200 meters, and the 400 meter relays, and there's no way Steiner can have that type of acceleration speed after those. In and this is where you guys are going to get mad at, by the way, um, after those injuries, along with the breaking speed times, unless she was using some type of supplement to keep the body strong. <laughs> Y'all hear this dude, man? This dude whack as fuck. <laughs> He's saying she's using a supplement to have acceleration speed. <laughs> Here we go again. Suspecting someone of using drugs when they've been tested already and there was nothing found, bro. 
nothing found. And she was tested. Americans get tested crazy because of the fucking scandal that we went through back in the 2000s. I hope you know that. They get tested heavily. There was a few of them that said how many times they got to get tested during the year. And I don't remember them finding something on Abby Steiner. Uh, unless you have any knowledge on that, uh, sir. Since you're uh, criticizing people that... And, uh, and if I was Abby Steiner, man, I would sue the fuck out of your ass for defamation of character. Because you basically accusing her of using something that she hasn't used before. And, uh, and, uh, I, 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 I'm not playing. I would have sued you. If I was Abby Steiner, I would have sued the fuck out of you for saying that. For saying that, for real. For real. Some of y'all think this is a fucking game when you post something like this and, and, uh, think you could get away with it just because you on the internet behind the keyboard, bro. And, uh, that shit ain't right. Uh, so, why do you ever accuse Shikari of using uh, using that for her speed? I want to know, sir. I want to know, sir. Since you want to be out here cr uh, criticizing people. Then he says to uh, wrap this up. And what's crazier, you want to put a Steiner, which uh, she made a transition from being a soccer player to track, who could not stay injury free. Put her along with the real great female track spinners and champions. Steiner uh, has to stop relying on taking supplements. Again, <clears throat> what knowledge do you have of her taking supplements? And can you prove that she's been taking these supplements? Because you're doing nothing but a lot of assuming here. A lot of assuming here. A lot of assuming here, bro. And I know some of you are ticked off right now. That's why I'm kind of letting y'all get a chance to breathe here and think about what he just said. He's basically accusing Abby of taking supplements, bro. And he can't prove it. He can't prove it, but he's out here saying it, though. Which is crazy. He can't prove it, but he's out here saying it. <laughs> ain't, that some, ain't that nuts, man? He can't prove it, but he's out here saying it. As if he, as if he knows she's been taking supplements or something like that. This is just another excuse... From a pro-black individual to say that Abby Steiner can't be running this fast because he think he th he thinks white girls don't run this fast or whatever he he thinks it's impossible when we got a thirteen so I guess Arya Arya Pierce young thirteen year old thirteen year old Arya Pierce is taking supplements too I guess she's taking supplements too and all those other white girls that were running that day uh, with her Brook Lions and all of them I guess they were taking supplements as well. Everybody takes supplements except the black girls, huh? I, I, I guess that's what you're saying. That's that's basically what you're saying. That's basically what you're saying. Because you're saying, oh, because she had an injury, she's taking supplements now. What? If Abby was really that done at the injury, she wouldn't have been able to accomplish anything close to what she's accomplished this year. She wouldn't have been able to run 57 races. No drug could let you, could uh, enable you to run that long. Um... 57 races like that. If you can think of a drug like that, I, I guess it'd be the hottest drug on the market. <laughs> For real. The only drug Steiner probably takes is a, a drug for her pain. <laughs> a drug for her pain. That's the closest you can come to maybe finding any drugs on her. Probably from pain and headaches. That's it. <laughs> Ain't no damn supplements in her, buddy. They just train well. And see, this is the thing that you don't get. Abby Steiner, and I'm still making plan on making a video. I might save it for Track and Ace. It's supposed to be a video that's um, talking about uh, these white females that are on the rise in the sport, uh, short uh, short distance and uh, middle distance sprinters coming up in the game, like a Femka Bowl and all of them. But um, I said this in my Aria Pierce video. They're just being trained differently. That's all that was going on here. They're just being trained differently. You left that out. You left out the main thing of why she's been able to accomplish what she's been able to accomplish. Abby is driven off the track as well as on the track. But the other thing is, it's the way she trains, you dummy. It's the way she trains. They got nothing to do with taking any supplements or anything like that. The average person probably wouldn't be able to do what Abby does because Abby is just that special, bro. She's just that special. Okay, this is that special.
And so, uh, Ms. Vita, I want to thank you for responding to this. I just want to point out your post real quick, then we're going to wrap this video up. He says, we don't have to support someone just because they are black. I like Abby because of her attitude and drive, not her race. Uh, if Shikari acted like a young woman worth supporting, then my black, uh, uh, my black will support her. But she acts too much like a stereotype, and that's the problem with Shikari. She acts too much like a stereotype. This is why black people in the community actually do come after her, because... Her stereotype is what brings her down. It's really what brings her down. It's what brings her down. She plays to that stereotype as a ratchet black female. And that's what people are criticizing more than anything. And they know it's not so much that she acts like that. It's the fact that she brings that into her sport. And then she brings that, which is toxic behavior, by the way. And it slows her down. Everyone, one thing that people point out with Abby over and over again is that she's a classy individual. And this is why people like Abby, because they know that they can get behind her. They know that the only thing that's going to slow her down is injuries because she is driven. And the other thing is she's a class act off the track. She's someone that's hard to really hate, to be honest with you. And the only time I've ever heard hate about Abby is just because of her race. That is the only thing. I haven't heard anything about people saying she got an attitude problem or she's got this or that going on. The only thing that I've heard from people is she's a class act individual. And, and if anybody does hate on her, it's because she's white and they feel like she's a threat to the sport because they know if she does well, then there's going to be a lot of white girls filtering through the track scene. But the, you can't stop that anyways because that's already going to be happening regardless because... Uh, most of the girls coming up in the in the sport are uh, there's a lot of fans. That's why I pointed out Arya Pierce because I wanted people to know there's this white girl coming out. This name Arya Pierce, who's going to be taking over the track in another ten years. So there's no stopping it anyways. You know it's a losing it's a losing situation if you're trying to fight it. Um, but he says I support those who act like me, and that's where it comes from. This is why I mentioned when I when I started this video when I pointed out his paragraph. I said I love me some me. I love me. I don't base everything off my fucking race, all right? At the end of the day, I want to be around people who are like me, that have respect for each other, nice individuals who, who are class act and don't act all sloppy, you know, with other people and stuff like that. That's who we want to support. That's why it's so easy to support Abby for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Shikari is a little harder because of her attitude. You know what I'm saying? But he says also, not those who look like me. Now, get your mindset all the way together. You're riding on the wrong team of life, brother. And this is, and I believe Miss Vita is black. I haven't checked in with her to see if she was black, but it sounds like she's black as for, as well. And this is a, and she's, and it's Miss Vita, so definitely a female too. And this is someone who could have easily sided with him, but was correcting him on that and see that's why i said when you said that about black black woman in the beginning of your post you immediately disrespected them man you disrespected them by saying that you disrespected them by saying you didn't really disrespect me because to be honest you uh, you could have been talking to me but i know that wasn't me bro i know that wasn't me because i don't act that way you know what I'm saying? But you did disrespect black women and you wanna call it then you wanna act like you pro black around here and shit like that. When you the man see this is why I said pro black people are poisonous to their own community. They're poisonous to their own this is why I don't respect them. This is why I don't respect them, because they're poisonous to their own community. They plan they claim they black here and there, but then turn around, these are the main people who will turn their back on the Shakari Richardson because you know what they do? They enable a Shakari Richardson to continue their bad behavior, to continue to smoke weed, you know, off the track and whatever, to continue to, uh, the, you know, deteriorate their bodies and stuff like that. These are the type of people who don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. That's why I don't like them. That's why I don't like and I won't like them going forward. They don't got to like me because, you know, you ain't got to be on my fucking channel. I, this is my fucking YouTube channel. You don't like what the fuck I cover, they don't, then you could go your ass somewhere. Go ahead and give this video a like. Uh, hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments, any comments you got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. By the way, uh, 
big big announcement here uh we got a new donator on the channel uh his name is da secret cure uh donate secret cure gave up the channel uh at least on the track and field side the first cash app donate donation and it was 70 dollars just got that last night uh, confirmed it and everything uh so shout out to da secret cure who passes up my boy david close david close still the top of the uh super thanks donators at twenty dollars right there um but yeah uh da secret cure sent about 70 so he is on top of the leaderboard as you see here and um and if you want to join them, you can send that money to any type of donation to dollar sign sack exchange we will be doing more are your peers videos and i told him i'll do a wilson video wilson runs in the 400 i told him i will do one for that donation man so salute to him but uh in this video man um look i that was a wild post it, it, that was a really wild post and i knew it was probably going to be about a 25 to 30 minute long video just covering that single post there but i just want people to know something man look most people who like Abby Steiner don't like her just because he's white. I've been trying to tell people this all summer long. It's got a lot to do with the fact that she is an incredible runner. People just like incredible runners. The way she carries herself off the track, a lot of people associate themselves with that. Because a lot of us ain't don't play to the stereotype. Even us black people, we don't play to the stereotype like that. Um, and we don't respect people who do. This is why Shikari does get respect in the community because of the way she does. But a lot of the Shikari criticism also becomes because she's been losing. And a lot of the reason why she's been losing is because of the way she carries herself. And this is what we're talking about, guys. We're not, this isn't is a, a, a science. But I still love Shikari. I've been saying this for a long time. This is why I said, yo, yo, stupid posts do not count. Because I, Shikari, I support Shikari and I love her. I have not given up on Shikari, by the way. That's why I made that damn video about wanting to see Shikari versus Abby Steiner. That's how much I still believe in Shikari. I just made two posts last week. I met, I talked about how she improved. She ran up 11 flat when she came in fifth place. Find it where I'm hating on fucking Shikari Richardson, bro. All right. Find it where I'm hating. I, there hasn't really been any athletes that I really hate on. I don't hate any of these track athletes. I respect all of them because I know what it takes to get there. It's not easy to get to become a pro. You know what I mean? So I got respect for all of them. Now, some of them might disappoint or whatever and stuff like that. And I'm be, I will be critical. I will be critical if, if they mess up. You know, that's just normal. You know, but uh, I got love for all of them, man. And um, I just like to cover Abby Moore. I'm a fan of Abby. I've been a fan of Abby since, since high school. I've been saying that for a long time, bro. Bro, I've been a fan of Abby since 2016, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, get out of here with that. And I'm, I'm, I'm covering the white athletes more because I want them to get the attention because they're the minority in the sport. And uh, I feel like I want people to get to know them because I think now there are people that, that like Abby because you like. But there's another. I don't think that's a real problem either because you just you like who shares your race, right? You like who like some people like who shares a race. I don't think that's a bad thing. Just don't hate on the other races. That's what I said in one video as well. Just don't hate on the other races because of the color of their skin. It's never bad to support your own race, but just don't hate the other races because of the color of their skin. That's been my whole narrative with this whole thing, man. I don't care if you like Abby because you're white. You know what I mean? I, I don't care about that. But I just want to bring more attention. Also, I want to bring more attention to the European runners. I've been talking about this with Indian Sports Media. By the way, so go subscribe to the channel, Indian Sports Media. I just been wanting to do that. But uh, we off this subject because I need to, uh, before I end this video, I just need to tell y'all, I got my Aria Pierce introduction video up. I will have the film up hopefully in the next two days. Um, wrestling has been burying me on this channel. It's been like wrestling every single day, and I've had to cover it on this channel. Um... It has been burying me, man. Uh, but hopefully, I can get back to because uh, we got a we got a full big day on Thursday, Diamond League Championship. So um, you know we're definitely gonna be covering that this week as well, man. And I have my next Abby Signer film. It's gonna be her first race in college. Hopefully, I had that up over the weekend, man. So we'll see what happens, man. Thank you guys for watching. After news, the like. All right, let's see.